Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, or Chakradash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations. And to the very few sisters that listen and learn to you, Shalom. For the new listeners, Yahweh is the true Hebrew name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true Hebrew name of his only begotten son. I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone Chicago. <clears throat> and uh, what's been um, coming up lately is uh, so-called uh, Esau shooting down with their calling uh haos high altitude objects you know they're trying to switch it up um you even had them say ufos as well which we know they're the chariots and uh, i believe to this date it's about four so far that they so-called shot down saying uh um that you know this is um if I'm not mistaken, uh, a sleepy, creepy Joe said visitors. <laughs> All right. So, you know what they're trying to say now? Whenever in the history of of America where you had the um, the military or the Air Force, you know, shoot down four UFOs within a matter of 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 a week. You know, so there's some there's some stuff going on that Esau is trying to hide. All right. Now, um, is it the chariots of God that were shot down? Absolutely not. OK, you got to understand we're dealing with the devil. The Bible speaks of. All right. The deceiver of the earth. All right. So let's grab some scriptures. We're going to go with. Uh. Let's go to Isaiah 31. You know what? I just thought of another scripture. Let me pull this one up too before I forget. Uh, I believe it's Psalms 2. Yep. All right. So this is Isaiah uh, 31 and 1. It says, it says, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek Yahweh the Lord. So this is a. Uh, when it speaks about Egypt, all right, Revelations 11 goes into spiritual Egypt, all right, which America, a.k.a. Babylon, spiritual Sodom and Egypt, you know, it's th that's speaking about this place. All right. And the people trust in this in this place. Why? Because they have uh, they, they uh, trust in the chariots. All right. Um, today's day will be what the military might. You got. Uh, tanks, armored vehicles, uh, uh, fighter jets and all of that stuff. Right. So they 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 put their trust in this in this kingdom. Um, let me see. I'm going to jump down to verse three. It says now the Egyptians speaking about um, today's time, uh, these Americans. All right. It says now the Egyptians are men and not God and their horses flesh and not spirit when Yahweh shall stretch out his hand both he that helpeth shall fall and he that is hoping shall fall down and they all shall fail together so you know the chariots they're not made out of um uh things of this world all right it's uh, extraterrestrial, 
You know, it's it's not of this earth. And uh, Esau's, you know, his vehicles, they're uh, flesh, meaning they're man made, you know. So here it is. You got some man made stuff going up against the the angels of God. Come on now. <laughs> that's like that's like a regular uh, a regular um, person. No superpowers trying to take down the Superman. Like it, it don't work like that. All right. Let me see. Is there anything else? Uh, yeah, let's jump down to verse five. It says as birds flying. So will Yahweh, the Lord of hosts, defend Jerusalem. All right. The people, the Israelites defending also, he will deliver it and passing over. He will preserve it. So the the as uh, birds flying is the chariots. All right. And that's uh, basically going to be our the way of our salvation. The, what the world ignorantly calls UFOs, which are the chariots. They're going to come in and deliver the the elect the one third of the nation of israel but here it is esau esau's been pushing we shot down four ufos like you know you didn't all right you shot down some some something else all right but you're disguising it as a as a ufo to to put the uh, uh the uh illusion upon the people that oh we could fight against these things oh we have a chance you know, let's grab this really quick. All right. This is uh, Jeremiah 10 and 1. It says, Hear ye the word which Yahweh the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith Yahweh the Lord, Lean not, I mean, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. And the signs of heaven one of the signs of heaven is being the chariots. You know, when people see the chariots, the ones who don't understand, they're always like, what is that? Oh, my God. Oh, and they're always, you know, it's it's a fearful thing to see something that you can't explain. All right. But us, we rejoice at seeing uh, the signs of heaven, mainly the chariots, because we know that that's the, the Lord and the, the, uh, the chariots, the angels. We know what those are. All right. But everybody else is afraid. All right. So now Esau is trying to push that narrative like, look, we took four of them down. You know, we have we could fight them. We have a chance. All right. Knowing damn well that that, that was something else. All right. Yeah, it may have been unidentified and it was a flying object, but it damn sure wasn't no chariot of, of Israel. All right. The angels. Uh, let's grab with Psalms 2 and 1. It says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? All right. So the heathen, all right, mainly Esau, Edom, they imagine a vain thing. All right. To go out and say that. Um, I don't know if this was like some type of clickbait video, but you had uh the president sleepy creepy say you know that they took down four ufos that were from um that were visitors you know and he was uh alluding to uh, uh aliens all right now i don't know if it was a deep fake or something but the this, this shit look real you know you can't take everything uh, at face value on the internet but um if that is the case then hey these heathen are imagining a vain thing all right. They think that they could take on take God on. All right. As a matter of fact, Second Thessalonians, Esau thinks he is God. All right. Says he set himself up as God, showing at himself that he is God. All right. So these heathens, mainly Esau, they're imagining a vain thing. All right. Hey, that independence movie is exactly what it was. A movie. All right. Are you going to tell me a. a, a Let's just speaking on the movie's sake, because we know the chariots to be the, um, the, 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 the UFOs to be the chariots of God. All right. Let's say if it was aliens, 
you think uh, uh, um, another species of a life form from another universe or galaxy has this technology to make it here, right? And then get destroyed by these low level ass uh, technology that um, can't even travel outside of, of low orbiting Earth. All right. But movies like that, you know, people uh, imagine the main thing. See, Will Smith pulled the air, the, the, the chariot up. I mean, the UFO up. So, yeah, just like the movie, we're going to go and do that. OK, good luck with that. All right. What is that? A uh, second Ezra 13. All right. Yeah, I wish I didn't lift up hand nor sword, but out of his mouth came a blast. All right. That that mouth being the opening of the chariot. All right, and he he's gonna hit hit those uh those that great multitude. All right, with that fire. All right, let me see. Uh, I think it's in Psalm. It's in, as a matter of fact, we're in Psalms nine. I'm in mean, Psalms. I think it's Psalms nine. And then uh, Psalms nine and nineteen. It says, "Oh rise, O Yahweh." Salakia, it says, let not man prevail. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight. Put them in fear, O Yahweh, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Salah. All right. So you you heathens. All right. You're nothing but men. Earth and ashes. That's all you are. You are not anything than that. And you think that you have a standing chance to go up against something that's beyond comprehension. We don't, I mean, it, it, it's kind of hard to fathom a, a spiritual being outside of this realm. You know, that's hard for people to grasp their, their minds around. All right. So you think flesh and bone all right that can get get cut and bleed and die could go up against god and the and the angels the chariots hey good luck with that one all right so you know um there's been there's been a, a hot topic going on in the media these past couple of days look hey esau ain't shooting nothing down all right he well yeah he did shoot a couple of things down but it definitely was not a chariot of god all right. Yeah, how will Ratazadis was edifying to next time, Shalom.